having been used to demonstrate using hay and straw at a few local shows, it was decided in the spring of 2013 to have a go at, hay, at grass. It was old grass which had been growing all the winter and the field wanted topped. So having it cut, we decided to try and fill a trailer. Lawrence Marshall, who was used to this job, having been employed by the milk marketing board at the grass dryer at Blencogo. It was in operation from 1948 to 54. We've been trying to make a film about it, or a good record at least. The trailer now is getting fairly full, uh, so it wants tramped down. Too much work for one man, we've put another one in. Carl is much younger, but it still takes a bit of work to keep it going. It's not going very fast as you can see, and but it cleans it up well. Any that falls over the back is automatically picked up again. The actual machine is four inches narrower at the top than the bottom. We think that is in case any falls on the outside, it automatically picks it up. You can see the ground is clear, it picks it up well. It is a B45 pickup in the bottom. Land drive and driving off both big wheels, the two small wheels at the back, jockey wheels, are actually adjustable for height. So that the tines actually clear the ground and doesn't bite into it. As I've already explained, they were used at the milk marketing board at Blancogo from 1948 to 54 for the grass dryer. Everyone said it was the best hay that you could ever have, but a bit expensive. We also had a, a pea factory at Merryport. This was supplied from a big area along the countryside from near Carlisle right to nearly Workington. They came in a flat pack and you had the choice of pneumatic tyres or the iron wheels. Depends how much road work you had. The milk marketing board and the actual pea factory had pneumatic ones. They were all the same size of wheel. On the top where they are actually forking off, that could be adjustable to height, depending on what you are filling. If the trailer was much higher, it could be lifted up by the actual iron rod that is connecting it to the chassis. This has notches in it to adjust the height. Well, we're about at the end of our recording. I hope you've enjoyed it, our little film, just to show how our green crop loader, which was renovated in 2011, having stood at Thirlmere for nearly 50 years, having been used to fill a pike maker. This was a machine which we have demonstrated, having filled the pike maker which turns over and leaves a pike or ruck of hay.